Hello everyone, Happy New Year. Hope that you're all good and have had a really nice start to your January so far. Today in this video I'm going to be talking about cocoa and the benefits that it can bring people with multiple sclerosis in terms of helping with fatigue along with some other health benefits as well. I've been drinking cocoa now for around about 10 plus years. The reason I started drinking cocoa was because I saw that Oxford Brookes University were carrying out research on the benefits of cocoa linked to fatigue in MS. And cocoa has been drunk for thousands of years and it has been known for its health promoting properties. So is cocoa effective for the nutritional treatment of MS? Well, researchers in Oxford Brookes University tested this idea over a six week period. So what they did is they took 40 people with MS and the study was based around relapsing remitting forms of MS. The first group was given a cup of cocoa, which is really rich and high in flavonoids. And then the second group were given a cup of cocoa, which had lower flavonoids in it. And flavonoids are a really important antioxidant, which provide the following benefits. Antiviral, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory and anti-allergic. When the study had finished, the research found that 11 people out of the group of the high flavonoids had better cognitive function, better mood, um, more energy, less fatigue, and were able to walk faster in their six minute walking um, test. They also included from the study that physical movement was also improved. They're obviously going to look into this more because there's more research around this and there's more studies going on to see whether people with different forms of MS will also benefit from the cocoa. As well as the benefits of fatigue, cocoa also has iron and zinc in it, which means that's really helpful for a stronger immune system. Believe it or not, this bad boy has magnesium in it as well. And I did a video recently on Epsom salts, which also contain magnesium. And magnesium is great for muscle and nerve function. It can also lower the risk of heart disease. And the biggest thing again with this is the anti-inflammatory properties which it contains. The flavonoids found in the cocoa can also be found in other foods as well, especially things like fruit and veg. But if you do want to go ahead and try the chocolate, you need to be looking at a mass of 75% or higher in the cocoa. I think the green and black chocolate which you can buy is quite high percentage wise and also the Bourneville Cabris cocoa is very good as well but as I said just look because there will be lots that you can find with a high percentage. At the moment we know that there is no cure for multiple sclerosis and there may never be a cure in my lifetime and other people's lifetimes so it's important to just, you know, keep up with the research, what people are doing, how it's going to help us, how it's going to benefit us. Because the one thing that we can do is try to lessen our symptoms. And so that's what I continue to do is to keep researching and looking at ways that we can benefit ourselves. So thanks, everybody. That is it. And I will see you all soon.